If you are looking for a little relaxing getaway, you could look no farther than Wright City, Missouri. That's just about 30 minutes west of the city of St. Charles. Oh, all right. Well, there's going to be Cedars, Lake Cellars Winery, and Big Joel Safari. There's also Red Moon, or Moon, <laughs> Mule <There you> Ranch, <laughs> and Airbnb just ranked the best in the entire state by the company. We had to check it out for ourselves. Kent Earhart gives us a look around that ranch. Sweet boy. A row of stables full of horses and a mule. A pond of fish. Wally, come here. Come here. And a porch swing with pups. Meet Donna Locke, the owner of Red Mule Ranch in Wright City, and Eddie and Wally, the eyes and ears of the ranch. They know every square inch of this property. And it's no small property. There's 85 acres with hiking trails, a creek, a teepee, and lots of wildlife. There's never a lack for something to do. Look at him, big eyes. Here's some more. Donna retired from nursing in 2018 after 45 years in the field. She says she's busier now running an Airbnb out of her guest house. It's been fun talking to people. I love hearing people's stories and their adventures and what they like. This uh, Airbnb was sort of an extension of, of taking care of people. And her caring nature certainly shows. This month, Airbnb released a report of the most hospitable hosts in all 50 states, and Donna's Ranch ranked number one in Missouri. I'm a very attention to detail person, and um, I think every person is special, and they deserve to be treated special. You will notice Donna's hospitality the second you walk in. There are freshly baked chocolate chip cookies and hand-picked flowers. I provide breakfast, so there's no need to really bring food, which I think is probably why my place is so unique, because most Airbnbs don't provide a breakfast. Not only does she provide breakfast, but it's all homemade, with five options for you to choose from, like biscuits and gravy, quiche Lorraine and waffles, all served on China that's been passed down in her family. This triggers on a lot of memories of their grandparents' farm. It just triggers on just great uh, senses, you know, smell, sight, just the feel, the comfort. For two decades, she says she's thought about opening a bed and breakfast. You know, that was always sort of a dream, but I, the business side of it scared me. With Airbnb taking care of the bookings, Donna can focus on the guests. People love to go down to the barn and pet the horses and feed them carrots. When people come, you usually get carrots. My one horse, um, people can actually hug him, and he's very therapeutic. Yeah, he's a good boy, aren't you? You're a good boy. She's had guests that come for PTSD or to get away from their hectic lives. Others are older couples and young couples. I think God just sends me really great guests that need to be here. It would be horrible not to share this little bit of heaven here. Um, so I, I'm just so thankful that I can share this with other people. It's just beautiful and that property is huge. It is, it looks huge. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in checking out Red Mule Ranch, you can find it on Airbnb. Donna does one night stays, Fridays through Saturdays, but you can always message her and request another night.